Good morning. Welcome to the Heart of Longmont. I'm so glad that you are here. My name is Trisha Graffelman. I'm the Mission and Ministry Coordinator here. We want you all to know that no matter where you come from, you belong here in this space. Um, we're so grateful to have um, Katrina Miller here for the screening of This Is Not Who We Are. It was um, moving in a lot of different ways. There were, um, it, it felt so good to have so many different people. They're trying to get it um, nationally on PBS. And what they said is that um, it was gonna take 25 stations for them to, to get it to go nationally. And they had over 96 that said they wanted it. And so it will be um, on PBS in the future and I will be sure to let you all know uh, when that happens. Um, I'd like to take this time to thank those that have offered up the altar flowers today. Um, Sam Brooks in memory of his mother Betty Brooks and the Wednesday's men's group in memory of Chuck Winkleman. Thank you for those. This is my father's world. Jesus traveled through the cities and villages, preaching and proclaiming the good news of God's kingdom. The 12 were with him, along with some women who had been healed of evil spirits and sicknesses. Among them were Mary Magdalene, from whom seven demons had been thrown out, Johanna, the wife of Herod's servant Chusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their own resources. March 8th is International Women's Day. It's a day to celebrate the achievements of women from around the world. It's about advocating for equal rights. It's about advocating for equal pay. It's about women not to be harassed and have violence perpetuated against them. Amen, a woman. See, in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus sees he stands up for outsiders, outcasts, and outlaws. And this week, we're going to focus on how he sees women differently. In Luke chapter 7, Jesus sees a woman grieving, and he stops what he's doing. He sees her, and he has compassion on her, and he raises her son from the dead. If you, if you turn to Luke chapter 8, Jesus heals a 12-year-old daughter of the leader of the synagogue while he's on his way and he encounters a woman who has been bleeding, who has been hemorrhaging for 12 years, who is unclean, who has been outcast, who has been a throwaway in society, who could not be touched. And the story tells us that she touches, she touches the hem of his garment and he turns around and he sees her. He calls her his daughter and he heals her. It is a beautiful story of transformation. The other thing that's important to realize is that women were not allowed to be named disciples. They weren't allowed to be called disciples, but these women who traveled alongside, alongside Jesus, many of whom paid for the ministry of the disciples, they were that. They were disciples. So I ask you, do you see? Do you try to imagine the hurt and pain in others' lives before jumping to judgment? I want us to see as Jesus sees. So as you go forth, remember, while I challenged you and said, how do you see? Who do you see? Do you see the way Jesus sees? Know this, you are seen by God. 
You are God's beloved, with whom God is well pleased. So go knowing just that. Go in peace and love. Amen.